okay? So again, we're looking at a couple different gauges here, okay? I talked briefly about that premature light off in the classroom, right? Mm -hmm. That little burner, or that uh, drain in the burner can is clogged up. Mm -hmm. So as you hit the start button, that needle would start moving immediately. On your N1? No, your on the, the TOT. Yeah. That's uh, because that, as soon as you hit the igniter, it ignites the, the okay. residual yeah. fuel. So that's the only one that we just let go of that starter. We want to get rid of the igniter. From there, so initially here I should be looking here as you hit that start button. Okay, that hasn't moved. That's the first thing we want to do. For, we're checking one, two things. One, that it doesn't move up with that premature light off. Number two, is you want to make sure you're below 150 before you introduce fuel. Okay. So, as you hit the start button, we're looking at the TOT. Okay. Then your eyes come down to N1. Remember, the big needle shows you like the, the tens, you know, there's ten. Mm -hmm. But if it hasn't gotten there yet, it's going to come up here five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, start rolling on to light by twelve. Okay. Once you hear it light, mm -hmm. stop moving the throttle. It's going to come up here and peak around 650-ish. It's going to come down. It's going to peak a second time on its own. As it starts moving down from that second peak, start rolling on that throttle to maintain the top of that green. Okay. The next thing it does, it says, release starter at 58% and once. So your eyes keep going back and forth here. Initially, you're looking here. You come down here to see when you're going to light it. You come back here to see how high it's going and to modulate that fuel to keep it up in the top of the green. And then we release the starter when this gets to 58. Remember, it's going to be 58. Okay. All right, the next thing on the list 